Hello Year 7s, it's Mr Omara here. I just wanted to talk about the stuff we did today in literacy about the persuasive writing. The reason that we're talking about this is we're actually concentrating on both writing and reading. As you can see here on the title page, I actually say that this is a common structure for persuasive texts. It is not the only structure, but it is probably the main one and it's the one that we're trying to use. And once you've become good at this, then you can play with the recipe a bit. But for now, we really would like you to have a go at writing in this structure and getting used to looking for information in this structure. So let's jump through to the very first part. Now this video is actually broken into three parts, so this section is just going to be about this next part here, which is the introduction. The introduction is the first of five paragraphs, and the job of the introduction is to let people know what it is that you're talking about and to kind of highlight what's coming after it. So there are four elements in the introduction. The first one is a hook. The hook is there to hook the audience, to get them paying attention to what you're talking about and actually being interested. So it might be something controversial or shocking or interesting, but it should be basically saying, give me your attention, I'm going to tell you something that you'll be interested in hearing. You then go on and tell people what it is that you actually want them to believe. You state your contention. You give them your three main points, and sometimes you might like to run these into a longer sentence. They don't have to be individual sentences. And then you come back and tell people again what you want them to believe. So, for instance, in this example, this is the, my hook. This is the best phone ever made, ten times better than the Supernova 5. That is meant to be the hook. That is meant to get your attention say, hey, pay attention to me in this phone and not anything else that you're looking at in the shop. You'd be crazy not to grab a, super, a Supernova 6 today is basically the contention. The contention is you should buy one of these phones. Then I have my three main points, which is the screen is super clear. That's my first point. The battery is amazing is my second point, And it comes with the universe of apps is my third point. And you know you want it is coming back to that contention. You should buy a Supernova 6, which is, of course, a made up phone. So when you're looking at your own introduction that you're writing, you want to be able to say, this sentence at the start is my hook. Then you want to be able to say, I'm stating my contention. Then identify your points one, two, and three. And then you call back. You need to think really carefully about what job each sentence is doing and make sure you've got all of the parts in there that you need. This might feel a bit odd to some of you who like to just kind of get the flow of your writing going, but at the moment we're concentrating on sticking to the structure so that we've really got that firmly in our head. So that's the end of the introduction, and I'll be coming back to talk about the body paragraphs in a separate video.